Hi, I'm Rita Goldner, author and illustrator of children's picture books. It's raining outside my house today, and that's very unusual for me because I live in Arizona, right in the middle of the Sonoran Desert. Today I'm going to be drawing and talking about water, which is why I'm wearing my shirt to make me look like a water drop. As you may know, I'm a big fan of endangered animals and I like going to the zoo a lot to sketch and draw animals from life. Then I use these pictures later in my picture books. So I was inspired since I live in the desert to think of water as endangered also. And that's why I wrote Agent H2O Rides the Water Cycle, a book about a drop of water who happens to be a secret agent. So let's get on with the drawing. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. For supplies, you'll need a plain piece of white paper, a red pencil, and a black number two pencil. You don't need an eraser. I'm starting with a picture of a waterfall and breaking it up into shapes, like ovals, triangles, oblongs, circles, whatever. Think of it as shapes, not a waterfall. And use the red pencil to just trace these shapes so that you'll be able to transfer them that way onto your separate piece of paper. You'll make the same shapes on your blank piece of paper that you made on top of the photograph, but it's easier to get that photographic image if you just think of it as shapes, not as a waterfall. While I'm drawing, or while you're watching me draw, I'm going to tell you some fun facts about water. Water makes up about 66% of the human body, and there's more of it in the atmosphere than in all the rivers on the planet put together. If all of that water, it's called water vapor, in the Earth's atmosphere fell down at once and distributed evenly, it would cover the whole world with about an inch of water. On your drawing, once you get the red lines showing just the way you want it, you go back over with a dark black pencil. And it doesn't matter if you made a lot of mistakes with the red pencil, just ignore them. Remember I said you don't ever erase. You just keep going. Interesting to me is that there's the same amount of water today in the world as there was billions of years ago when the world first started. It covers about 71% of the earth. And of all that water on the earth, only two and a half percent is fresh water that's drinkable. And of all that drinkable water, only one percent is accessible in rivers, lakes, and streams. The rest of it is stuck in glaciers and snow fields. You see, as I'm finishing up my drawing here, that I'm putting dark behind the white waterfall. That's how you make the waterfall stand out, by darkening the little cracks and spaces and shadows in between the streams of water. Then you can also add some dark plants or rocks around it and pencil those in with shadow to make the white part stand out more. So there's your waterfall. It's a combination of light and dark shapes. If you like this waterfall drawing and you like this kind of video with the how-to drawings, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the little bell below so you'll be notified when I post another one. My postings will be on Monday afternoons. Hope to see you in the next one. Thanks.